All yes. right, away we go. So hello, everyone, and uh, thanks so much for, for joining us. Welcome to our first Meet the Candidate session for the 2015 at-large board of director seat that is available. I'm Holly Ross, and I'm the executive director of the Drupal Association. And I'm really thrilled this year at the turnout, both in terms of the candidates. Um, we had over you know, lots of candidates from all over the world, which is really amazing, um, but also thrilled with the turnout today. Uh, we have more spectators than candidates, uh, which has not been my experience in past Drupal Association elections. <laughs> so I'm really, yeah, so grateful that so many people are out there and taking an interest um, and really wanting to learn about the folks who are running for the seat. So hopefully uh, today's uh, session will help you do that. Uh, we are going to record today's session. I'll make that available up, up on YouTube uh, when the session ends. Um, so you'll see the, the link in the blog post and in the elections section of our website change from, you know, join the meeting to uh, watch the recording. So take a look out for that when we're done. Um, and here's just a few logistics for everyone today. So um, all of our spectators, not the candidates, but everyone else who's just listening in, you guys are muted automatically to keep the background noise to a minimum. But that does not mean that we do not want to hear from you. In fact, it's just the opposite. Today is your chance to get some questions out there, so we want you to ask them. You've got a Q&A section of your control panel there, um, so you can feel free to share a question that you have for a particular candidate or all the candidates in that Q&A section, um, and I'll be monitoring those to make sure um, that you got, uh, I'll be monitoring those to make sure that we ask them. Uh, and uh, as I said, I haven't had the experience of so many folks uh, listening in live before, so hopefully we get to them all. I'll do my best. If we don't get them to, to them all, um, I have a, a record of all the questions and I will uh, do my best to get them posted up on the candidate pages so people can respond in their profiles. So here's how things are going to work once we get past these logistic announcements. I'm just going to let you know briefly who's on the line. Um, we have a lot of candidates, so we don't have time to do um, longer candidate statements, as I was hoping we would at the beginning. Um, but uh, I'll introduce each of the candidates that are here and share their profiles. Um, just so you know, we're not going to have a lot of other visuals today. Uh, so, you know, tune in with your ears. <laughs> um, and then once we get past the introductions, we'll switch to Q&A format. Um, I will kick off with a couple of questions and then work in your questions as we go. Um, again, we're recording everything, so if you miss it or want to share it, uh, it'll be up uh, within a couple of hours of the session. Um, and you'll be seeing that both in the um, blog post at asos.drupal.org um, with all of the announcements about the Meet the Candidate sessions as well as in the candidates, um, the election section of our website. And just a reminder that voting will open on March 9th. So that's the day we're waiting for. Uh, it runs through the 20th, so there's plenty of time to help encourage your fellow Drupalers to please get out the vote. Um, we definitely want to see a huge increase in um, turnout this year, so get ready for that. Put it on your calendars now. All right, any questions from the candidates before we get started? Okay, then... Um, oh. Oh, uh, Holly, are you going to pick us out, or do we need to raise our hand? So, oh, um, oh, right. So when we when I put the questions out, feel free to just jump in. Um, there are, you know, many. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight or nine of you on the line right now. So you may um, you may st you know step on each other when you get started. But um, as I mentioned in the email, I'll give you about 90 seconds to respond, um, and then um, I'll open it up and see who's ready to go next. Um, and uh, so everyone will have a chance to answer every question. That makes sense. Um, and the questions are going to be Holly. from you and the com community as well? That's right. Holly? So I'll be watching the questions come in through the um, question part of the control panel, um, and I'll feed those to you guys, but all the questions will come from my voice. All right. What else? Okay. Uh, well, then one other reminder that um, someone asked for in the question section, um, we are electing one person to serve a two-year term on the board, uh, and um, that's the role, the term that they will serve. 
Um, they will serve alongside Matthew Sanders, the other at-large board director who's elected in the last uh, community election. Um, and the role of the board is an obviously really important one. The, the board is the keeper of the strategy for the Drupal Association, so they help set the direction. Um, and that's obviously a really important role to play. Um, and in addition to setting that direction, they also um, are, are responsible, bottom line, for the fiscal soundness of the organization. So they are going to uh, be reviewing financials on a monthly basis and, uh, sorry, quarterly basis, um, ensuring the association is, you know, on track. Um, they're also bottom line responsible for uh, making sure that the association is just doing its work uh, well. So in compliance with, you know, all the important laws that govern our work um, and that we are, um, doing our work also in a, in the spirit of our values, right, um, and in alignment with our mission and vision. So um, the board plays a really important role. Um, it is sometimes tactical. Sometimes board members will come down and do things like help make a fundraiser go uh, or uh, sit down and help us work through a marketing plan. But most of the work is at that strategic level. Is this the right direction for the organization? Uh, those are the kinds of conversations we um, we tend to focus on. So. That's the work, um, and um, one other th one other quick reminder, candidates, when you do begin to answer a question, it'd be great if you use your name, because so, we don't know who you are. So, you know, like, hey, this is Adam, and here's my response, yada, yada, yada. All right, I think we got a couple of questions and reminders out of the way there. I'm ready to dive into questions. Let's do it. Okay, so the first question is, what is the most critical issue facing the project, the Drupal project today, and what do you think the role of the association should be in contributing to its uh, solution? So what's the most critical issue facing Megan, the project want to do, today? Did you want to do a short uh -huh. introduction of everybody? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I think, Michael, uh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I mean, we could start with questions, no problem, but... I'm totally not following my so own crazy. script. Okay, here we go. Are you ready for the intros? I'm going to do them for reals. Okay. All right. So uh, here's what we got. Our first candidate, uh, I think these are vaguely alphabetical order by last name, um, Addison Berry. Uh, Addison works in um, at Lullabot, or she's been a long, uh, long time uh, contributor at Lullabot. She's been part of the community for a really long time. Um, and she has uh, made also an amazing personal journey. She lives in Denmark. She's an expat there um, and has been played a lot of different roles. Um, she's been, um, I think, if I remember correctly, started with some documentation edits, right, and has moved around and done lots of different contribution. So Addison is our first candidate here today. Uh, we also have um, Alper. Uh, Alper, Gust Alper, I don't know how to say your last name. How do you say that? It's Gucha. Gucha? Yeah. Okay. And you are very faint, so you're going to have to speak up a lot when it's your turn. Uh, so Alpar um, is an interesting uh, candidate as well uh, from Turkey, which I think is really exciting. Um, and he runs Polygon Interactive and has been working on Drupal since D6. Uh, Ani Gupta uh, is representing India here today. Uh, he has founded... Um, uh, I think he's worked in the in the community for a number of years. Oh yes, since 2004, uh, uh, back in Drupal four days, um, and founded a shop uh, in Delhi. Um, and so he works at Accelerant now in in India. Adam Hill um, has been another. You guys are all longtime Drupalers, so I guess that's redundant at this point. <laughs> Um, and Adam's played a number of different um, different roles in the community. He runs uh, an agency, uh, but he also has been involved heavily in Drupal cons and the um, Drupal um, community working group. Uh, we also have on the line uh, Victor Victor Lewandowski. Um, Victor is based in the Ukraine, luckily Western Ukraine and not Eastern Ukraine, um, and has been working in Drupal since 2007, and he is he runs his own Drupal shop um, in the Ukraine as well. Uh, also on the line, Carlos Ospina. Carlos uh, is uh, based in Houston, but is Colombian, I think, by birth. I hope I got I remembered that correctly. Um, and has been engaged in the last few years, really active in the Latin American community and was definitely very instrumental in helping us run DrupalCon Latin America earlier this month. 
uh, and Michael Schmidt. Uh, schnitzel. Uh, Michael has been uh, also involved in the in the community for a very long time in a variety of ways. He um, he works at Amazie Labs. Um, he's based in Zurich, um, and you may recognize Michael because um, we put him in all sorts of precarious positions to take our pictures uh, at every DrupalCon. He's been in charge of the official group photo, so he's hung from the rafters and climbed up on ladders and. Uh, lobbied hard to allow us to use um, drones to take people's pictures. So, <laughs> all right. Enzo, I am candidate. Uh, Molly, can you hear me? Uh, Enzo, sorry, that's right. You joined us a little late. Um, Enzo's with us as well. Um, and let me just pull up Enzo's profile for everyone. There we go. Another candidate from Colombia. Uh, uh, who was also really helpful for us in putting together DrupalCon Latin America. Super important for us um, uh, to get that event done. He's been part of the Drupal community since uh, Drupal 6, um, and uh, I think has also been really helpful in, in getting the Latin community together um, as well. Did anyone else join, or did I miss anyone in, that, in the interim? Let's just double check. Okay, and we do have a question. Does Adam work for an agency? He does. I bet he'll get to talk about that a little bit too. All right, so it looks like I got everyone. Excellent. Thanks for your patience with that. All right, well, now you guys have had a long time to think about that question, right? <laughs> um, repeat, repeat that, please. I will. <laughs> All right, let's move into the question. So what is the most critical issue facing the project today? How can the association contribute to addressing it? Can I answer? Uh, how do we uh, go about this, Holly? Um, jump right in. Say, hey? uh, yeah, jump right in if you have a question. Um, just uh, or if you have an answer, just remember to say who you are when you start. All right, it's Ani. Um, one of the things that I see is that the Drupal project, by organic means, has grown massive. I'm in India, and a lot of people still don't know about it. Uh, people that are working with Drupal don't even know that there is a community around Drupal, which is really astounding to me, right? Um, the Drupal Association is doing a fantastic job around North America, uh, even South America, Europe, and other places, but uh, in India, which is the second largest population of Drupal, um, Drupal.org, we are not um, getting a lot of people understood uh, what Drupal project is all about. I think uh, one of the things that, that I feel is important for Drupal Association is to reach out on a much larger scale to, to make sure people um, realize that the Drupal project is not a software project. It's a, a open source community project. It's about contribution. It's about help. Uh, it's about uh, making things happen. I mean, I can go on, but uh, I think I'll just stick to that one for, for now. Thanks, Annie. Yeah, I would I would mention a shorter term issue, and that's what I see currently happening um, all over the world is Drupal 8. That um, because we are an open source community, but a lot of people use Drupal um, as an enterprise system, they sometimes believe that we um, have like release cycles like other proprietary software. And so a lot of people talk about Drupal 8, and they, they hear that it's coming out, and some of my friends working at other uh, software systems already choking me, asking me, so when it's coming out? So I think we do a bit of a bad job of like telling people how it's developed. And of course, we say it's done when it's done, but that's sometimes really hard to explain people that are not into open source. So that's one of the, of the really things we have to be careful about is how or that we make sure that Drupal 8 is coming out um, on time with a timeline that everybody understands. And the Drupal Association itself should support that with providing the right tools, as we do right now with the Accelerate grant, um, which is super great to, um, to support the last pieces, because everybody that does um, development knows the last box are the hardest ones, are the hardest to tackle. And sometimes you just need a lot of time to sit down and fix them. And I think the Drupal 8 accelerant by the association does a really great job in making sure that we get out um, Drupal 8 um, in time and with at least boxes possible. 
Thanks, and everyone. That was that was Michael uh, Schmidt, um, and I will do my best to try to pull up uh, each candidate while they speak, so you can see their profile a little bit. Okay, um, this is Carlos Espina. Um, I think we have two two um, things that we have to pay attention on on the community. One is the, uh, the diversity of the community, which is getting huge and bigger every time. As as Annie said, there's still so many much so much more people that is using Drupal and is not part of the community, so we, we, we need to work on that. But definitely the, the most important problem right now or, or issue is Drupal 8, which needs to be out. Uh, technology is moving forward faster than we can keep up with, and Drupal 8 is doing a great job about that. I think one of the problems is uh, we have to make sure people understand what's the evolution that is happening with Drupal 8, not only as a software but as a, as a framework and as a, as a new tool for the community and how can we use it to be, I mean, uh, better in our jobs and our work as programmers and developers and, and project managers, etc. That's on the side of Drupal 8 and, and get used to it, so I think so far, we've been doing a great job with the grants and all that, um, and, and keep that work going forward and make sure we keep the diversity and, and reaching out to everybody as we, we have been trying. That's it. Thanks, Carlos. Other folks want to answer that? Adam's out there. Can I? Yeah, this is Adam. Great. Um, I think, uh, uh, for me, that it's a really hard question because of the fact that all the other candidates just covered really <laughs> positive big things, which I would uh, I would mention. Um, but I think one of the biggest ones for me is about uh, the community is way, way bigger uh, than the contributors. And I think that, that getting people, uh, inspiring people and helping people on a, on a global scale to contribute, uh, uh, you know, more often and in different kinds of ways is a, is a really important point. Um, I wouldn't say it's so much a problem. I think some of the other things that other candidates have mentioned are, are bigger problems, but I think it's a, it's an opportunity that, that that's kind of missed at the moment in terms of the amount of uh, 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 resources and people that could be helping who aren't quite sure how to do it. I think part of that is around, uh, uh, from the association point of view, um, the accessibility in the Drupal website in terms of pointing people in the right direction. Um, and there's a lot of good work obviously got into this already, but I think that the, the, the association could be pushing people more uh, to understand the value, especially from the, the, the Drupal shop point of view, the value in contributing back to the community. Um, if I may jump in, uh, Holly, is that all right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Uh, Adam mentioned a very important point, contribution. Uh, you now, need to I'll, I'll identify try. yourself, though. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry. It's Ani, uh, Ani from India, from Thanks. Bombay. Thanks, Ani. Uh, and um, one of the things that uh, we need to also understand is that contribution, the word contribution or the process of contribution is not really that easy for people to understand whether it be a developer or even a business owner. And I've seen the entire gamut um, you know, from 2004. A lot of times it's important for people to understand that just even having a, a camp or having a small tiny meetup is contribution. And that evangelizes Drupal. And I think Drupal associations help in trying to understand where there are massive amounts of where there's a massive amount of potential, but there's nothing happening in terms of, okay, why are people not actually putting out uh, their contributions? Uh, that could be really, really interesting to study and to actually implement. So contribution to me is not just code. Contribution to me is about everything you can do around building a great, supportive, empowering community. Yeah, and I, I, bet, I bet most folks here I definitely can't. agree with that. Yeah. yeah. Are there some others who haven't spoken yet who want to share some answers to that question? Sure. Hi, this is yeah, Enzo, AKA. Sorry. Enzo, Enzo, I hear you, but you're kind of faint. Can you get closer to your mic and speak up really loud? Sure. Hi, this is Eduardo Garcia, uh, AKA Enzo. Um, for me, the most important is first and foremost a language barrier. 
If we can track contribution by country, we can detect most of them comes from USA and Europe, countries with, where English is not a problem. But uh, I think, uh, as a Drupal association, we can encourage communities to create his own documentation. But I, I am not talk, I am not thinking about documentation as APA. I am thinking in encourage community from China, from Africa and Swahili, in Latin America, in Spanish, to create his own tutorials, videos, screencasts, to try to bring new new developers, new documenters, new 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 community leaders to try to in, uh, improve the amount and the way we can represent uh, in the Drupal Association. Because right now these regions are technology consumers, but based in population, I think with the proper uh, documentation and information, we can create technology and to share with the world. Great point. Well, this is Alka, can we? Oh, uh, sorry. One more time, because I didn't Alper. hear you. It's Alper. You can hear me. Almost. It's awfully quiet. Hello. You read me? There. That's Hello. better, Alper. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'd like to have a, uh, I would say, a different point of view to the question and the answer. Uh, when we talk about a problem, uh, the problem probably arises due to competition. Uh, we just talk about Drupal as an open source, uh, a good framework, a very, I would say, the talented, one of the best I've ever worked with framework to work on. But when we talk with the real world, the customers, they always talk about other CMS options like Joomla and WordPress and things like that. So I guess our first priority to have a success in this project is to clearly identify what Drupal is and how big and how successful and how capable it is. So I would say that as the Drupal Association, uh, we should also really have a concentration on the management level, strategic marketing actions of Drupal. Because if we market Drupal, the project itself, we can have more contribution from everywhere. And it's also Drupal associations, I would say, prime responsibility to create the synergy within the community and uh, make things really working on. So I would say that everything, whether you are a developer or an end user or a finance guy or the whatever you are doing over here in Drupal, you should also uh, act as a, uh, I would say, defender of Drupal uh, in all operations, in all circumstances. Thank you. I'll go ahead and take a turn. This is Addie. Um, and um, I definitely agree with, with what other people have said about um, priorities. And I think like an immediate priority in a lot of people's radar is Drupal 8 coming out. Um, and I do think that the, that the Drupal Association has taken steps to help uh, facilitate moving that forward already, which is great. Um, one of the things that's to, to me, from from my perspective on things in the community, is is the growth, as has been mentioned, and and sort of getting people, onboarding people more into the community, but growing the base of the community um, without having proper structures or or markers in place for those people ends up creating a mess uh, in a lot of ways. Um, like we found this, like with the documentation, it's like we don't actually need everybody necessarily to do documentation. We need a little bit more structure to how that gets done. And so the overall, uh, and there are many leadership uh, structure conversations uh, going on in the community uh, that have been uh, a little complicated in terms of how do we, we're huge and we're trying to control, we're trying to do a software project as well as a whole bunch of community activities. And what are the leadership structures there? We've grown to the size where frankly, we need to have some structure. It exists whether or not you acknowledge it. And I think the Drupal Association facilitating the space and the conversations for those and communicating those well to the community is going to be very important if we really want to grow in a sustainable and healthy way. Um, much like we don't direct the Drupal code per se, but we put a lot of structures in place so that the community can solve those code problems. I feel like looking at 
the, the these leadership and structure issues is one of those really sticky gray areas um, that probably needs some push and some support uh, from from the Drupal Association uh, in order to to get to some resolutions uh, that I, that would carry us forward. Awesome, thanks, Addy. Well, Victor, are you there? Uh, Megan, yeah, I am ready as well to 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 speak. Yeah, I would love to hear from you, Victor. Yeah, okay, so my thought is uh, main goal to popular uh, to promote Drupal outside Drupal community. Because I am, uh, for example, I am a member of a lot of um, IT associations in my country. Also, I attend um, a lot of uh, conferences. And usually, uh, my colleagues from other companies ask me, Victor, what is Drupal? Because they see uh, on my visit card, uh, well, Drupal. So I think the Drupal is not uh, so popular. So, so I think that uh, we need uh, to do more for promote Drupal to, um, uh, and to spread information to all world about this technology, about this framework. And uh, in this case, we will have uh, more guys that think and understand the technology, and we will have uh, more members. So I think it's the main goal, and uh, we do it uh, in Ukraine. Uh, we support here a lot of uh, initiatives, and we are supporter. And I think that it's very nice uh, to prom uh, do uh, promotion, big promotion company, uh, big promotion uh, campaign on campaigns in world, and we will have uh, very good results in this case. That's all. Awesome. I think we managed to hear from everyone on that. Did I miss anyone? Okay. Yeah, I want to thank you all for those answers. I think those are all really valid answers. You know, increasing participation, really making it easier for people to participate globally, marketing and promoting um, Drupal, um, figuring out how to how to structure leadership in the project, increasing participate. Uh, I already said increasing participation. I wrote that down twice. That's how important I thought it was. Apparently. <laughs> You know, these are all really, these are all the kinds of issues that we that we struggle with. So thanks for thinking so hard about them. Um, also, you guys are really good at keeping your answers to 90 seconds. I just want to say. Um, so I want to move on to another question. Um, and as I mentioned at the the top of the session, we have um, we have uh, this is a two year term that you get to serve, um, and we just recently restructured that because we wanted to make sure that. Um, folks had enough time on the board to really feel like they accomplished something. It does, it takes a little while to work your way, um, you know, work your way into a group that has already been working together, um, figure out how they work, uh, bring your ideas and, and see them through. So it's two years that you get. Um, and I'm curious for each of you, what would you like to be able, what would you like to say that you've been able to accomplish at the end of your term? Or to put that question a different way, what does a successful term look like to you? So I guess I'll go again first. Ani, is that me, you? Uh, yeah, that's me. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Holly, it's, my, it's me, Ani. Okay, great. Um, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. No worries. Um, for me, for me uh, look, I, I believe I, I'm, seeing, I'm witnessing a massive explosion in open source, not just in my country, in India, but everywhere else, where open source is becoming a massive pool to solve problems. And Drupal is a great platform for um, building solutions. For me, as, as part of, let's say, if I was part of the Drupal Association member, I would love to get, in my own, well, starting with my own country, Government education that started on a grassroots level, uh, where people are adopting Drupal, but Drupal distributions coming out of the way, uh, Drupal becoming a mainstream word like Google is almost in two years. Yeah, well, you might think it's kind of a joke, but it's not. It can happen. But I think Drupal um, as a platform can be a powerful platform for people to be able to empower themselves. And I think um, that, to me, would be a, a really powerful thing to reach out to people to, uh, and also contribute. For me, contribution is a very big deal. Um, contributing back to the Drupal project, 
the project can only survive if people contribute. And contribute doesn't mean you write code. Contribute means you do whatever you can to evangelize, to, to, to get people to know what the community is all about, to, to have uh, meetups, to, to have whatever, and, and just let, to know, let people know this is a great project to be part of. For me, that, that is, a, is a fantastic contribution. Thanks, Ani. Others want to tackle that one? Sure. Uh, this is Addie. Um, I would say, I mean, at the end of, of two years, I would like to have, you know, a, a tangible thing. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big person about documentation. Uh, and so for me, actually just even documenting uh, community processes and structures so that they are uh, more discoverable and understandable to facilitate the discussions and conversations around them would be a um, really awesome thing to see. Um, and I would really like to see some brainstorming and implementation of actual onboarding improvements, uh, be that through changes to Drupal.org uh, that improve the onboarding process for someone who's new coming into the community, um, particularly ones that encourage diversity, um, it, or through having uh, documentation and more starter packs uh, for events in terms of how uh, they can ease processes and, um, and reach out for more diversity uh, for the community through, through personal events. So those would probably be some of my big things that I would like to check the box off on. No small feet. <laughs> hey, that's Michael. Hey, Michael. Hey, um, I go to a lot of events. Um, is it now in Europe or in, in, in the US? And I, especially from event organizers, which we heard before, are really important for the community, especially in Europe. Um, I hear a lot of event organizers saying that they don't really feel supported by the Drupal Association. Um, which most probably has a lot of different reasons, um, and I don't want to tell all of them, but I think what I would really like to see is like in two years, if I walk to event organizers in Europe or in other emerging um, continents right now, like we have more in Latin America, there is more stuff happening in Africa and Asia, everywhere, more and more events happen, and they need support. I would like to see in two years that they say, they really know how the Drupal Association supported them, um, that they also say that they, um, that they really value the support they got and say that with that support they could do more they usually couldn't do. And that's one thing that I currently don't see happening so much. And if I can say after two years with my help and understanding also what, what these people need and how can we as the Drupal Association board support via the staff um, the, these events, if they say, yes, we really like it and we could do more than we couldn't do, that's one thing I would really like to see after two years. Great. Hi, this is, this is Eduardo Garcia Enzo from Costa Rica. Um, my success indicators will be um, help to establish Drupal communities in developing countries like uh, Chile in Latin America, Nigeria in Africa, and Vietnam in Asia. This is kind of examples. Uh, when I, what I mean by established communities is to help them to, to establish Drupal meetups, to share the knowledge, to, to, to encourage people to contribute code uh, documentation. Um, the second one will be uh, enable these communities to help to create uh, his own resources in modern language. So my, my, my point of view is if we help them to create a documentation in, in, in Chinese, in, in Hindi, in, in Swahili, or in Spanish, we will have an, an, an exploding um, um, system in, in, in terms of, of contribution for these areas. Great. Uh, Victor or Hello. Carlos? This is Alper again. Alper, great. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah, right. Is the line okay to talk? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, in fact, two years seems a long time, where it's also really a short time. So 
I would definitely uh, focus on four points, I would say, uh, that define success uh, for me at the end of these four, two years. The first goal I have to achieve, I would say, is that the community that is far more in interaction. This interaction, uh, I'm not talking about, you know, uh, just mails and uh, tweets and uh, all uh, online issues, but uh, other than that, trying to get people together with small, uh, more, I would say, international uh, events. Uh, I dream of also, that I know that there are some uh, task forces like that, but I dream of three separate task forces uh, that will be in operation. One in documentation, one on training, and one on internization. And the goal of these uh, three task forces, I would say, is just to create a documentation or a training or an internalization suite that is you can only achieve when you pay for it. So it should be that good and Drupal should be the base for creating huge internal, internalized projects. Uh, my third point is, uh, is of course to raise some funds to secure the future of this project. And uh, this is closely related to my fourth goal, which I have to make this community also working for a social cause. If we can make the community work for open source software plus a social cause, I would definitely be, uh, I would be 100% sure that we can raise funds more easier. Thank you. Hi, this is Adam. Can I come in here? You betcha, okay, Adam. I'll Let's go to Adam, um, and then I think we also okay, have so, Carlos. Okay, so um, uh, I mean, for me, I think the the uh, a six, it, it's kind of a successful term is uh, is is a bit different, I think, to the one thing I'd like to 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 achieve or accomplish. But uh, in terms of a successful term, I hope it will be about. Uh, helping the the Drupal Association to grow the community in, in the way that in the last few years particularly it's it's really started to do on a, on a huge scale in terms of looking at like staff members the, the types of projects that are out there the amount of funding which is going directly to community members to to contribute and to, to grow the project um, tangibly what I'd really like to see and it fits into what a number of people have talked about is this kind of internationalization uh, but it's actually that uh, I know there's a, there's an office now in uh, in Europe, but actually that the the Drupal Association opens offices tangibly with people inside that can offer uh, on the ground support and staff uh, to to different regions of the world. Uh, I still think while uh, while uh, again great strides have been made that that the Drupal Association has a huge obvious focus in in the USA, and I think. Bringing that outside will only strengthen the, the association, but also give a lot more support to to people and majorly visibility in in the various different regions. Um, yeah, so so I think actually having offices with staff members uh, when we have twenty odd staff in the USA, I think it's time we had five in Europe, five in South America, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and we and we really build this as a visible uh, association across the world. I love that, Adam. Um and uh, I totally volunteer to staff the European office myself. Um, does it count if I'm American? <laughs> but, but just, you know, we, actually, we actually do have two staff in Europe. Um, we have a, a developer, um, Oliver, who lives in Wales. Um, and our good friend Tatiana, who um, is the product manager for Drupal.org, um, she is from the Ukraine. But this week, um, we just actually just helped her get a visa to do her work out of the UK as well. So. Right. But we're we're t I totally hear you there. There's definitely more work to be done. I just wanted to well, make uh, sure if I may jump in, Sonny again. Okay. Yeah. It's Ani again, Holly. Uh, you know what Adam's saying is fantastic. I mean, and and what Adam's saying and what other people have said about uh, internationalization of Drupal, that's very important, isn't yes. it? Yes. It's about. Um, it's not a North American. Oh, actually, interestingly, it's a Bel Well, it's it's a Belgian thing. And 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 uh, why are we so focused around Drupal being just English? Um, it should be this this conversation should be had in multiple languages, maybe. To totally agree with you guys. Totally agree with you guys. I didn't want to undermine Adam's point, but I did want to just make sure that we knew that we we definitely um, at the association take that seriously and have been have been working on it. 
a bit as we can. So, but I think we still have uh, both Carlos and Victor who've not had yes. a chance to respond to this one. Okay, uh, this is Carlos Ospina. So, uh, I've been listening to everybody, and I, I think we all agree that you know expanding the contributions, whether it's code, uh, project, uh, documentation, uh, etc., is important. Uh, we talk about the leadership, the trainings, the internationalization, and that's something I see at the end of the two years being strengthened uh, with my help. Something that I would like to see also is one of the reasons that uh, brought me to the project is that weirdly being a, an open source project is a, is a, a Drupal is a community in a project that has a strong business uh, point of view, if that's the word. Uh, where companies can support the project and we have never gone to the other side where the project gets closed or something like that. I think we need to be, keep working on that. There, there has been a lot of uh, effort going this way. We're talking about the jobs.drupal.org, the, 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 the initiatives that Dries was, to, were talking, was talking in Austin about maybe recognizing companies, etc. I think that's something that we need to uh, work on, how to enforce the business part without hinder the community part. In that way, we can have the funds and, 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 and the support to do everything that we've been talking so far. Great. Th that's what I would really like to be doing or see at the end of the two years. Great. Thank you. Awesome. And Victor, are you still with us? Yeah. Great. Do you want to share a, an answer to that question? Yes, yeah, sure. So, uh, it's Victor Lewandowski. Uh, what I would like to tell, I am Drupal, as I told, uh, I am Drupal Evangelist, and um, uh, my goal would be to um, promote Drupal, and for example, to um, um, a very good result if we uh, could double, uh, uh, double the number of Drupal org users during two years. And big goal uh, to promote Drupal uh, to so level when everybody know what is Drupal. Everybody, you know, now what is Windows? Yeah, everybody uh, should know what is Drupal. Uh, so this is uh, the goal uh, that I see. Yeah, that's all. Hello? <laughs> Did we lose Holly? You still there? Yeah, okay. So let's stay on this international theme because um, I hear so much passion around it and I have a couple of questions in the queue related to it. Um, so um, you know, we, we've talked about we've talked about the association needing to be more international to make connections with community leaders who are organizing events around the world. Um, I, you know, we all think that's really um, important. Um, and there are a lot of ways that we could go about that work. Um, so I just wanted to put out to you guys, if the organization, if the association were really doing this work well, um, if we were a truly international organization, what would that look like? Um, how would we connect with um, the community leaders that are out there? And I think also more importantly, how would we connect with some of the um, local and regional um, leadership teams that have already been doing awesome stuff, right? Because we don't want to come in and step on their toes. <laughs> so how do we do this in a collaborative way so that we are working with um, some of the the leaders that are already there on the ground doing great work um, and we're supporting them but not stepping on their toes. Does that make sense? Yep. So Holly, uh, well, DA has been doing fantastic work with the Indian teams. Um, in the last few months, we've had great camps. It's Ani again, Ani yeah. from India. <laughs> gotcha. Day. Sorry. Oops. Um, and I think the Drupal Association has been fantastic in terms of reaching out to us. Um, India is a huge uh, traffic, uh, not just traffic, but in terms of developers and, well, not so much contribution. But what we miss, though, is, is uh, for example, um, I think Megan knows about it. 
2011, Reese came to India, and it was a watershed. It changed the entire scope of Drupal in India for that one moment. There were three different camps happening in that, in that year. 2015, and now we are seeing 600 plus people in our camps. Um, what Drupal Association could do is certainly help us with initiatives that we are now initiating with students, with government. And I think, um, I don't know if I should introduce that, but uh, yeah, DrupalCon is being planned in India, so that should certainly help. But one thing that is still missing is still people feel there is no representation of India in Drupal Association, in Drupal. So. Hey, Oli, Michael here. Um, I think that, or I would like to see the Drupal Association connecting people. Um, connecting people in terms of just telling or knowing what the issues in the local communities are and bringing them on a global scale means that if somebody in Switzerland has the same problem as in India, whatever it is, is it onboarding people, is it exp um, organizing events or whatever, if we have the same issues, we should be brought together. And the problem I see right now, this doesn't happen. I don't know what other communities, local communities have issues, but the Drupal Association can be the possibility for us to get to know each other better and, and the Drupal Association listening to us. How that actually works, I don't know. Maybe it is a monthly meeting with the leaders of each local community that inside of the Drupal Association somebody meets with local leaders and listens to them and talks to them and connects people. I think we don't need specific help by the DA, we need help to help ourselves and that is through communication, through um, telling each other and connecting people and not specifically on cons where, for example, it happens. Um, so we meet at cons and the local communities discuss. I think it can also happen outside of that and telling each other, hey, this other community has the same issue, why don't you talk together and solve the problem together? I just want to say, hey, here, here, what Michael just said. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, I, uh, I think, uh, I mean, similar to, uh, I think connecting people is, is really important. I think also the opposite is, uh, this is Adam, by the way, uh, um, this is also, uh, the opposite is also really important that we don't assume one issue happening in one place is therefore the same issue that's happening in, in another. And I think the biggest way the, 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 the DA can, can really do this is by integrating into the communities or becoming part of the communities or even better, people in the communities becoming part of the DA. And I think that that, that could be uh, opening up the DA board membership in a way that, that there's representation, uh, almost almost like forced representation, um, but maybe not in the in the, uh, the that would take time. Obviously, in terms of the staff, I think it's again important, similar to saying having regional offices that you actually have people, not people who who uh, uh, represent the region, but people who come from the region or uh, or live there. Um, and I think that that, it, that it's about kind of uh, closing any gap. Not just, the DA does a great job already in integrating into the communities, but 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 closing that gap culturally, language, uh, it, it, through events, etc., um, uh, on the local level. So going to those regions and being being seen and visible in those regions. Anyone else want to? Yeah, this is Carlos Ospina. Um, me, 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 me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I, I think that uh, something that we started doing, uh, we started doing it in DrupalCon Latin America, and, and, and that was, a, a, for me, a really good show of how we can work together with the community, the local community, and have something amazing like having over 100 sprinters in a, an event with 260 people, which was amazing. Um, and we need to keep working on that, working with people locally and, 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 and using the Drupal Association power, and I quote unquote power, uh, being like the central uh, association that can help with grants and, and, and um, involvement and organization to the local people, that would be amazing. Uh, and, and, and that would prove to be very successful in DrupalCon Latin America. <laughs> Uh, and, and, and expand that to local camps, local efforts, GTDs, dev days, uh, 
that's everything that came out from DrupalCon Latin America, for example. So I'm sure we're going to count with the Drupal Association, and that's part of my goal to help get that support going to Latin America when those events go uh, start and everywhere in the world. Uh, offices, I'm not so sure. And in terms of languages, I think we did a, a good first uh, start by, um, if, I don't know if everybody knows, but DrupalCon Latin America was the first trilingual DrupalCon ever. We had three languages going on with simultaneous translation. And um, I think in that way, we can uh, help expand the community. And my time is up. Hello, this is Alper again. Hey, Alper. Uh, hi, uh, I just listened to my mates and uh, every one of them, every single one of them has really uh, pointed out the importance of our community. And I guess uh, right at the moment, we are uh, just on a good track uh, <laughs> to achieve what we require as internalization and representation all around the world. Because as you said, uh, we are 24 candidates from 14 different countries. So that's really internalization of the project. I would say that we have to put more uh, power on the democratization of the community, which I can say that uh, this election uh, is a good way to start. So we need to find uh, ways to identify the local leaders because uh, in some cases, especially for example in Turkey, there are people who know Drupal and who do good stuff about Drupal, but they are not known uh, by the association. So I would say that we should uh, organize a committee uh, under the uh, association supervision uh, to create uh, people of the uh, local, I would say, uh, origin to come together and talk about the problems and things together. This may be online conferences or as my colleagues just pointed out, we can also start trying more small internal, uh, internal uh, international, I would say, uh, meetings as well. Thank you. Hi, this is Enzo Alarda Garcia. Okay, as my name mentioned before um, uh, about community leaders, well, define a community leader in a country or a region is really hard, but it's not free of frictions. And that could be changed time to time. So I, I want to mention about my experience in Costa Rica because after five years working as volunteer or enthusiasts about Drupal, we finally decided to create an NGO to help us to, to organize the Drupal meetups, Drupal, Drupal camps, and obviously to, to put a face with more organization to, to possible sponsors. So that helped us to, to avoid any friction and to, and to avoid any possible interest between companies. So with this new NGO and we call Drupal Costa Rica, we we use this organization to to work each other and also is a connection between the, our local community with Drupal community uh, as a product or as an international community. So I really encourage to create this kind of, of, of entities. Uh, it's like a Drupal association in a local environment. Thank you. Great. I think um, Addy or Victor, do you guys have anything you want to add to this? Yes. All right, Victor. I, I do. Oh, by the way, uh, Holly, I'd like to add also. Ani. Yes, Ani. Uh, Addy, Victor, please go ahead. No, no, no problem. This time. No, no, no. You go ahead, please. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So uh, my idea. Uh, to provide from Drupal Association uh, some uh, information support for or organizers uh, of uh, local meetup, the Drupal meetups. Imagine that uh, some simple guy uh, organize a local meetup, yeah, and we know we, we know that a lot of people organize it these meetups. And imagine that one moment this guy receive just a mail from Drupal Association with thanks, guy, we know that you organize. Uh, this meetup, and we would like to tell you thank you. It's a very big uh, a push for um, um, uh, motivate this guy to do this. Uh, oh, uh, to, to, to do this again. So I would like to provide uh, uh, this support and uh, to show this guy that we know about uh, their initiatives. 
and I think we will have a very good effect. Thank you. Patty, anything you want to add on to those responses? I mean, honestly, I don't think I have anything uh, novel to add other than to, I, I definitely feel that the, the DA creating um, and encouraging spaces for communication across groups rather than being like a central force that comes down per se, um, but, but being able to create mechanisms and create whatever it is that, that people need to communicate just laterally amongst themselves is is definitely something that I think is, is really necessary. Everybody's so scattered um, and it's hard to figure out like how, how do I in Denmark figure out who, who I would talk to uh, in South America um, without just sort of pecking around and, and starting to see who does events and who should I try and contact and I feel like if there was more of a, a central organized way to, to facilitate that communication uh, that would have a huge impact on a lot of different communities, especially really small ones who uh, feel very isolated. Um, I'd love to. I'd love to add to that uh, what Addy said. Addy said something very, very important. And um, the Drupal Association, I don't believe, is the organization that uh, necessarily um, is about uh, the, the the power of Drupal. But yes, the facilitation of Drupal is about the community facilitation. That's what Drupal Association acts out. It, it, it makes sure it's the glue of Drupal, I think. And what Addy said is very, very cool. It's about how the hell do I get in touch with other people, right? In small communities in India, well, we have very large pe um, communities here and lots of people. But uh, yes, we face the same problems. In fact, I've spoken with that about other people from DA. How about opening up API from a Drupal Association where we can, uh, our, you know, our own little small um, camps, we, we could uh, share information, uh, using that information to uh, attract other people and uh, having a, not just an IRC channel, but other ways to talk to each other. I think Drupal Association uh, could definitely do that. But yes, please let's not um, forget Drupal Association is a finite organization. It's not unlimited in terms of resources or people, right? So. That we are. <laughs> That's true. Um, good. Well, listen, I want to continue on this theme a little bit. Um, and someone in the, someone on the call wanted to ask, uh, particularly Carlos and um, Enzo, about um, what they feel like in uh, um, in their specific community in Latin America, what they need to have happen there to um, grow Drupal adoption and bring in more contributors and really make that ecosystem flourish. And it uh, just when I saw that question, it reminded me of um, one of the things um, one of you smartly said, which was that you know every community around the world, uh, you know we want to touch all these places, but we also want to make sure that we're doing it in a way that makes sense for that for that area, right? Um, we can't treat every uh, contributor the same, right? Um, you guys all work from different perspectives. So, so I wanted to open up to, to everyone. Um, you know, what is the thing where you live in the world? Uh, what is the thing that is uh, unique about your place that the Drupal Association can help uh, to encourage your community to flourish? Does that question make sense? Hopefully someone says yes. Um, well, yeah, yeah, Holly, but, you know, it's going to be a very tough question, though. For example, you know, within India itself, there's like five different different things uh, between different cities, right? Um, like in Bombay, um, I don't know, what, what can I tell you? We are already at 600, 700 people, um, <laughs> but, yes, there are issues. Uh, we have local issues in terms of people not making it to meetups because it's too hard to travel sometimes in Bombay. Um, yeah. What I'd love to hear from Latin America, I mean, I'm so intrigued about Bogota and what happened over there and, and how that's planning out. I would love to hear from somebody from Latin America. Yeah. Oh, this is Ani again, by the way. Sorry. No worries. Carlos or, or Enzo, do you guys want to tackle that first? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, 
Right. Well, uh, I don't. Um, I think we. Um, how do I say it? I mean, uh, I think the work that we did uh, with DrupalCon Latin America is a proof of that. Um, what is important is to understand the reality of the community where we're going, uh, and especially in the Latin American community. One of the biggest discussions is um, we don't have the same. Um, I don't know if this is the correct expression, monetary power, than we have here in the States. And that's something that is important to understand. Uh, we have a different language. So I, I would just talk with the experience that we have organizing this, this, this DrupalCon Latin America that in terms of everybody that I've talked to was a huge success. Um, is we work with local people. Enzo helped. Uh, Eduardo helped us with the trainings. We have people <laughs> everywhere and volunteers everywhere helping us uh, trying to identify how to do the things right. Uh, and with the support of the Drupal Association in, and their experience in organization and, 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 and everything that had happened, I think we, can, we could reach out to the community in a way, like I, I will say it again, uh, the biggest surprise we had is the sprints. And remember the code sprints, even though they are code sprints, are not only code, it's about talking about community, talking about the project, documentation, etc. cetera. Um, they were a big success because um, what I feel is if you identify what makes the community special, in this case, um, Latin America is a very strong uh, united community. Um, as a region, I mean, um, Eduardo can attest, I mean, if you go to a Drupal camp Costa Rica, you will find people from everywhere. If you go to a Drupal camp Mexico, you will find people from everywhere in Latin America. Drupal Peaks, you have had over 60 people from different countries, almost uh, 30 countries, different countries, including Holly. That's where we met. and. Um, uh, I think that's the way you can help a community by 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 working together with the people that can guide you and and and, and show you how different it is or how similar it is or what will fly and what won't fly. Yeah. In, okay. In the way they uh, think. Yeah. Just to, just to 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 mention uh, how I look at Drupal Con Bogota, for me it's, it's more a result than a success. What's a success? But for me it's a result of a several years of working. If you check it out the history in Latin America from Mexico to Chile, we have around 23 countries and we have been working for at least six years in Correct. different in, in different fronts. It's like a, uh, it's not a, it's not a word for one person. So there are people working in South America, in the South of South America, People working in Brazil, people working in the North Western America, people working in Mexico, people working in Central America. So I think the the most important thing the Drupal Association could be do to try to encourage a region is to try to help these local events to try to engage more people uh, to 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 bring his passion to Drupal to Drupal as a community. Because if you at some I, I'm not saying it's a it's a mistake, but if you try to create a huge event for uh, at the beginning. Uh, it's, it's less probable we will be successful. But if you if you if you potentiate these small events in each region or each each country, at the end for sure you will have you will have patient people in uh, to help in the creation of these kind of events. Thank you too for for sharing that that perspective since we have such a recent um, event there. Um, I wonder if folks uh, from from elsewhere want to want to address that as well. Uh, I could say something. I, I think uh, I, I think the really important thing when we look at sort of let's say uh, this is Adam. Sorry, uh, um, some of the <laughs> maybe mistakes that have happened in the in the past and and uh, uh, and the successes that are happening now. I think uh, it's been brought up before that this. Uh, asking and working with the community in the, in these areas is really the key. It's it's about not going in and saying this is what you need, but saying what do you need. Uh, and I think this is the key to to any successful kind of intervention or or, or 
exploration of, of events or, or, or uh, um, uh, programs in, in, in other countries. Um, but I also think uh, uh, one of the things overall that uh, the Drupal Association we, we could look at would also be the the wider impact of the of the work that's being done. So that it's not just uh, you know we're doing a DrupalCon in uh, in Latin America. So how many people are we going to get there uh, to, to to move away from a kind of numbers game? But look at the social impact, and I mean social in the in the Drupal community wise rather than. Uh, generally speaking, but the social impact of uh, uh, of bringing a DrupalCon to a certain region, the the the, the fact that I I honestly believe uh, you guys will tell me <laughs> more, but I honestly believe there'll be a, a ripple, an impact in in South Latin America now because of this DrupalCon for many years to come, and I think when it moves to when we have a, a, a uh, a DrupalCon in India, it'll be the same thing, and 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 on, uh, you know, keep going in that way. And I think we need to to spend a bit of time to try and look at the different indicators and find the social impact, the different, uh, uh, more kind of qualitative impacts that, that are happening uh, to the community uh, to help uh, to help improve that as we go to different places. But it's really important that this is not seen, you know. Uh, that we're not taking the 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 package we made in Latin America and putting it into Mumbai or wherever it'll be in India. I, I think this is the really important uh, point to make. That's smart. Sorry if I can add something to that. Hello, this is Alper. I yeah. can uh, say about. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead, Alper, and then um, Carlos, hold your thought. We'll get to you. Okay, I totally agree with Adam, and I would like to thank him in person because. Uh, trying to make things out work as a package is not working uh, in everywhere and uh, in all parts of the world. So it's really important to ask what is required to the community, the local community, and after that we can use the expertise of good case studies. This may include, you know, the structures of events or getting personal help from uh, community members. But uh, I would like to thank again to Adam that uh, he indicated we need to have solutions locally by asking the question, what do you need or what's wrong with your stru uh, structure? Thanks. Yes. Um, Thanks. Thank uh, I just wanted to say to not... Uh, ready? Yep, sorry, Carlos. Uh, this is Carlos. Okay, so very quick, uh, I will try to make it quick. It's really hard to explain how different was this DrupalCon from the others? Uh, I have the opportunity to speak with so many people uh, here in the States and over there, and, and I know how it works usually, and I think the approach, more than the package, is what we have to pay attention to. And the approach was to reach out to the local community, this community that has been working for six, seven years, uh, trying to create that Latin American community that is today uh, really strong and identify the problem. One of the problems that we identify is, yeah. for example, uh, a certain um, rejection of Drupal 8 because it, we weren't sure it was good for small companies, which is mostly what happens in Latin America. We have small companies. Um, so I think it's, as long as we understand the local people and uh, the success wasn't in numbers, uh, I'm sorry I named numbers, but the, 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 the thing wasn't mm -hmm. in number is that after we approached the problem that we saw uh, talking with the local community, uh, we, we have a great response, and, and that's what I meant. Um, it wasn't a package, but it was more the way it was done, because it was guided by the local community, uh, the creation of this event. And I think we can replicate that everywhere, in India, in Asia, in Africa. If we work with the local community and understand how do they see the project, what are the things that they feel are lacking in the project, and we can help the rest of the world uh, to, to, to bring that to the table, um, the change can be huge. I mean, we have now, like, we may, we duplicate or triplicate the number of contributors from Latin America just in one event, and if we keep going that way, and I know it's going to happen that way because the same people that have been working before is ready to work forward in, in, in the local community and hopefully we can give the support from the DA. Uh, we can replicate that uh, approach more than that package everywhere. Make sense? Makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think what Carlos is saying, this is Ani, um, 
is absolutely right. It's about replication. It's about uh, learning from where we are at and understanding where our strengths are. See, Drupal Association is perfectly poised to, to basically uh, present all it see what are we all talking about here we all talking about hey let's share what we what we already know we're saying we learned this from this event we learned this from that event we're not sharing enough perhaps Drupal Association could be a great bridge to bring all these communities together and let them talk to each other and say hey listen this is what what happened here and this is what happened here and let's uh, learn from this and this is what your problems are we have the same problem we solved it this way I think that'd be a great idea, as yeah, a part of the Drupal Association job. Okay, I want to stop and see. Uh, and can I just add something again? Yes. One, one last thing yeah. before moving on. It's yeah. out there again. Uh, I'm. I guess that uh, we are just looking at the great opportunity right now uh, in person because we are uh, people around the world and talking about a future of the project. So, I guess this kind of election. Uh, say meetings and probably other meetings that the uh, association can organize uh, the increase of the rate of information exchange between local parties I guess this is a great opportunity that we are around here. thank you thanks Alper good so any other any other insight on um, you know how to address your unique community needs that you guys want to share um, Okay, then I have one final, I think this is probably going to be the final question, just judging on the timing. Uh, so we'll put it out there. If we have time for something else, we'll get to it. But um, I just want to um, share with everyone uh, briefly the, the mission of the Drupal Association. It's pretty short and simple. Drupal powers the best of the web. The Drupal Association unites a global open source community to build and promote Drupal. And I wanted to ask all the candidates, what makes that mission meaningful to you? What is the part that really resonates with you uh, and really moves you to want to act? This time I'm going to go last. <laughs> Thanks, Ani. <Donnie. laughs> <Donnie. Yes. laughs> so should I start then? That's Michael Schnitzel. Yeah, go for it, Michael. I think, I think for me it's the uniting. It's we are so many different people all over the world in different time zones and having different issues and different thoughts. And I think it's the importance of the Drupal Association to unite these. And that's for me, being from Europe and seeing, and we just heard a bit about Latin America and India while they're still like trying to, um, to form each other. In Europe, we're actually ahead there. And there are already ideas to build something outside of the Drupal Association because some people in Europe believe that they do not feel understood by the Drupal Association and I think that's really dangerous and that's one of the really big points why I said okay I want to join, I want to join the Drupal Association board as a European person to bring in the European um, mindset or the European ways of thinking how do we interact in the local communities um, because the mission is to unite, and I think we can only do that if the board also consists of united people of all over the world. And definitely, as we just heard before, use whatever we learn, how we can fix these issues we have right now in Europe, bring them to the other continents, prevent doing them, or if they also happen, know how we can tackle them and resolve them. That's why. I said, okay, I really want to do that because I think we should be one united group. Great. Who else wants to tackle that question? This is Addy. I, I have a feeling a lot of us are going to zero in on the, the uniting and the global, <laughs> given, <laughs> given the conversations that we've already had this evening. Um, and I, yeah, I mean, for me, it's about the the building of bridges and that the, the association has resources to help build those bridges and to be able to um, perhaps take a step back and have a view to be able to connect things that, that maybe people closer to things can't, can't see or don't have the resources to do. And so for me that's like all of the things I want to do is to be able to bridge those people 
uh, together and to build bridges to the Drupal community, not just within it. Um, there are a lot of people who are on the fringes of the Drupal community and just see it as this humongous, overwhelming thing. Um, and being able to bring those people in to the community and um, incorporate them and have them feel at home and 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 have the power to to do something important um, is what drives me. Thanks, Addy. Other folks want to add? Right. Carlos has been up. Thanks, Carlos. Oh, Carlos, yeah, please, please go ahead. Okay, Victor. Oh, Adam. Who's oh, talking? Oh, okay, I'll there talk. There we go. Sorry, it takes me a few clicks <laughs> sometimes to find you guys. I will do it. I will do it. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Uh, uh, guess what I'm gonna say? Of course. The, the, by the, by the way, the before, before I... Carlos starts, before Carlos oh. starts, Carlos, I have to have a beer with you, man. I have to tell you that. <laughs> yeah, we have to. Yeah. We have to. <laughs> We'll talk later, right to yeah, me, yeah, yeah, and we'll find yeah. whether or we're going to be in the same place and we'll have a beer. Sure. Okay, sure. so, <laughs> yes, I'm going to go with the Unite part, of course. Come on, we need to uh, keep together working as a united community because that's what made Drupal grow so much and be so professional. And that's what I like about the, the, the project that is professional and I can go and easily do a small, simple little page or think about whatever web app that you can believe or imagine. So that's what made the, 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 the project so big. It's the, the union of, of this community that I know from so many places. I, I, I work with the US community, I work with the Latin American community, I have really good friends in the European community, and I can see how all working together we do this. But I want to also talk about the promotion, and, I, and that's something that Holly knows that I have a business vision, a little bit more than a simple community vision, and I think that's the, the, the big work of the Drupal Association. Keep us together to grow the project and help us promote the project in a way that it can be profitable for us to be working with Drupal because I think that is also important. I mean, it's not just being the idealistic part of the community, but I think we all eat from Drupal and we need to keep that going on and, and make sure as the project grows, the business grows, and again, keeping that balance so delicate and wonderful that is the Drupal community, which has a beautiful balance between businesses and community. Thank you. Thanks, Carlos. I let me, Victor Lewandowski. Thanks, Victor. Go for it. Yeah, OK. So uh, technology promotion is part of my life. Yeah, uh, uh, let me show you an example. These days, uh, I am running a project of promoting um, uh, a programmer profession. I am visiting every school in my city and uh, uh, speak with uh, children about uh, programmer uh, profession. Yeah, I, I would like to tell them how nice to be programmer. So oh, I, do promotion. I do promotion. I, uh, I like this. This is part of my life, yeah, and life, uh, I love this activity. So this is very interesting for me to also have activity as part of uh, Drupal Association. That's all. Thank you. Thanks, Victor. Should I go now? Go How for it. There? Oh, no, uh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, please go ahead. <laughs> right, thanks. This is Alper again. Uh, if, all we know is a Drupal open source project. But just think of this way. Drupal is an open source project that it really is a, I would say, face of the life that expresses my lifestyle. Why? Because it's international, it's technological, it's multicultural, and it has almost infinite capacities. And besides that, it's open to all. So if you want to be part of it, you can be a part of it. It's the real world, man. And if it is in the real world, we have some problems. So my main motivation is try to uh, is to try to remove the obstacles from the community's way to grow bigger and uh, reach the future. Thank you.
Excellent. Adam, did you also want to want to go? Yeah, it's pretty hard after <laughs> after all that. I think uh, people picked up on uh, obviously Unite is uh, is huge, but I think also um, I want to pick up on the open source side of things. I, I think um, that uh, the, that in terms of the association, that often people see it as this kind of uh, disc, uh, uh, and, and maybe I'm talking uh, uh, from the past, but I, I think that's still present. And a couple of people have mentioned it that that, it, that is. Uh, kind of disconnected from the community and not as it as it should be and I believe as it is which is connected and an integral part of the community um, so I think uh, I think in terms of uh, what to do with the uh, uh, from the, the DA point of view it's that it's that uh, that community being including the DA rather than the DA being the one that is uniting the community it's, it's uniting themselves in the community as well uh, and from the open source perspective I think it's really important uh, that, that we remember the the kind of ethos of open source uh, in every aspect of all the things that we do. That um, you know that that we we talk with our staff, and but I also talk in community events. Uh, I mean, uh, events with the local community, not uh, not uh, Drupal community, uh, uh, about the concept of open source because this idea of collaboration can be brought around everything that we do in life, and I think uh, has value to bring in 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 so many. Uh, different aspects of, of, of what we do and, and, and I don't know if that's the case within the DA but I think we need to, to always remember that uh, whether you're staff you're, you know it's an open community it's an open source community um, and that's uh, uh, that needs to run as, as, as the backbone of, uh, of what's happening well Holly come on this is Ani again can we <laughs> Can we just get all of us together in a room and have beers? I mean, come on, Adam, Addy, Victor. Just so you guys know, just so you guys know, throughout this entire session, Ani has been tapping away into the question section, things like, right on, that's exactly what I think. These people are so smart. <laughs> <laughs> you all have fans in Ani. <laughs> I think I think the primary objective <laughs> I mean, seriously, honestly, this itself proves my uh, belief in Drupal, the Drupal Association bringing all of us together, that we have not even heard of each other. Now we're going to go out and find each other out, right? Yeah, exactly. Which is fantastic, which is to Please me do. fantastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to find you guys. I'm going to have beer with you guys. <laughs> but this is, this is, this is the greatest Sounds thing good. to me. <laughs> this is the greatest thing. To me, you know, Drupal is the community. It is what what is beautiful about Drupal is a community. And I think Drupal Association, uh, yes, reaching out to larger markets and, 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 and reaching out to larger players and, and then obviously strategically understanding where it's supposed to go. Look, there's, uh, there, there's as director at large, I guess anybody who's part of the, the uh, the uh, director group is supposed to understand where uh, Drupal is supposed to go. I think we all ag agree on that. But I think overall, um, all of us I, uh, is uh, you know we are all uh, fantastically attached to Drupal. Drupal may not be the best software out there, but I think as as far as community goes, Drupal kicks ass. To me, Drupal is fantastic, and that is what a Drupal at large director needs to expound, go out, and let people know. What happens after that is... There you go. There you go. Okay. Um, we are very close to the top of the hour, but I know we started a couple minutes late. I want to give um, Addy and Enzo, um, I think you're the last two. Okay. Hi, this is Enzo. Okay. For me, the Drupal... Association mission give us the opportunity to empower a high quality web products, and we can bring this this amazing products to poor and developing countries, and that will provide to us the the opportunity to build amazing tools to solve our problems. And with this and with this solution, this is a solution we can afford and we can use our local and talents. So the idea is in this way we can have a, a positive effect in our societies. And I think this is the most important goal in open source: uh, how to grow in and poor communities to reduce the digital gap in the world. And 
and as a result, we will uh, bring to the world uh, a little more equality. Thanks. Thanks, Angel. And Addie, are you still with us? Do you um, want to share something there? Yeah, I, I already answered earlier. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I did not give you another check mark on my list. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I got lost in the circle. Yep. Did, I forget? List, did I forget anyone? All right, good. Well, listen, I just have to say that that 90 minutes flew by for me. Um, thank you all so much for the uh, amazing conversation and the really, really thoughtful answers. Um, and I especially want to thank the um, non-native English speakers, which is actually most of you, <laughs> for conducting this entire session in English and doing it so well. Um, so, so yeah, just thanks so much for, for all the sharing you've done today. Um, and just as a reminder, while we wrap up here, we have two more sessions scheduled, uh, one tomorrow, one the day after. Um, some of these folks will be back for, for future sessions um, as well. And uh, new candidates will be coming into each of those too. And, uh, and uh, lastly, just want to remind everyone, voting opens on March 9th. Um, we do use the instant runoff voting method, uh, which means that uh, you will not be choosing a single candidate when you vote. Uh, you'll actually be able to rank several candidates. You don't have to rank them all. But if you have five or six that you uh, know well, uh, you can rank those five or six candidates. Um, and uh, the winner is determined based on those rankings. So. Um, that's the method that we'll be using. It opens on March 9th. Definitely uh, shout it from the rooftops far and wide. We want to see lots of great turnout because we have so many amazing candidates here. Uh, we just I really want to uh, see how the community can, can respect these uh, great candidates. So thanks for everything today, you guys. Um, if you need anything, send me an email. Um, I'm holly at association.drupal.org, and I will look forward to talking to some of you guys later in the week. Thank you so much, Holly. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. It was great meeting everybody, guys. by the way. Mm -hmm. uh,